check check okay i'm recording to to teach you how to prevent id numbers from becoming double because this is the problem if i add somebody else in the students and i can specify the same id number What will happen? You will have two two people with the same ID number. If you edit, if you edit something, then both of them will become. There will be two people now. Both of them are edited. So in database terms, it's it's not. It should be a primary key. This one should be a primary key. And if you delete one of them, both of them. Uh, if you edit, both of them got erased. If you delete, both of them will be deleted also. So how do you prevent... Uh, you can prevent that by not allowing them to enter ID number. So how... And putting the ID number yourself. Anyway, in our table in Postgres, ID number is already a sequence, meaning meaning class if you type insert into students and then uh, first name <coughs> values so if I type something like this, I, if I insert without putting, uh, am I recording? If I insert without putting the ID number, because normally you put insert in the students and then you put ID number and everything. But I can actually insert in this format. You specify the fields and then you specify the data. You can skip some of the fields. <coughs> anyway, the, the only thing that is not supposed to be null is the ID. But we, when we created the table, we put, we did not just put in primary key, we put serial, meaning if it is blank, Postgres will add an ID number by itself. So if I, for example, if I just insert a student with name FN, MN, and LN, L, it, it inserts. So what is the ID number of these students? of this student. We can check. The ID number is one. So if you if you create a table with data type uh, uh, with one of the fields as serial, it will automatically make it not null, meaning you cannot insert a blank. But if you don't put data, it will get a number from a sequence. A sequence in database is another table that has a number. Meaning, even if 100, you know this is page PN web, if 100 people create the same, uh, go to your app and click create new, uh, a new, add new person, they will not get the same ID number. All of them will get a, a unique ID number, yeah? So there is no, it's called a race condition. When uh, normally, if you want to get the, the you get the last ID number, and then you add one, and then you insert. But what if 100 people got the last ID number at the same time? And then they are going to insert plus one. So you will have 100 people with the same ID number. <laughs> it's called a race condition. Or some people might get the good ID number, but you will. Have, it's not, you are not assured that the 100 simultaneous people have, will have a different ID number. But in Postgres, the way to make sure there are different ID number is to use the serial uh, data type when we created the table, which uh, I showed you last time. So for example, there's another way class. For example, for example, I in, 
this one is even nicer. You can put uh, returning ID. See? It says here, insert into students, and then the fields, and then values, and then the values. Uh, fields have double code, and values have single code, right? And then the returning ID is nice, because after you insert, it tells you the ID number that was insert, that was created just for this. So when you check actually everything, the one you inserted is uh, two. So in post in SQL, you can put a returning and then the field or fields to make sure that they really are inserted. That's one way to check. Another way to check is just to query it the next time. Anyway, I just showed you that to show you that you can you can we can insert uh, by skipping the ID number. But in our app, <clears throat> in our app. Oh, by the way, you can also uh, you can also select if you look here, class default next val student ID sequence. If you select next val, you will get three, and then four, and then five. This is the next value for the student. So when you insert again, when you insert another student with the same name, it, you will now see you will now see that you inserted uh, the ID number is now in twelve. Yeah. So that is what a serial data type is. <clears throat> so you can get the. Oh, so what we can do in our app. When we click create, we can get an ID number so that if 100 people try to create a new ID, they will all get a different ID number, right? You can get a different ID number. You can get an ID number here, or you can get an ID number in the submit. Which one do you want to? Put? I think it's simpler. If we get an ID number here, we already know there's the ID number when we submit. If we get an ID number on the insert, we don't know the ID number here. It will just show when we insert. Which one do you like? Here? Okay, here. So what we're going to do, is it, because it's better to show the user right, the ID number. So what we're going to do if you want to put it there, we will edit the add that PHP. And then we are going to go PHP mode here. I think it's better uh, before. And then I am lazy to I want to copy something from the add. I want to copy something here. Oh, how can I copy something here? There is no copy and paste. Okay, okay, I know, I know. I'm just going to insert the whole file here. I'm going to insert read file. <laughs> I just need the connect and the uh, uh, exec. <laughs> I just need to send an SQL statement. Select next val. Students, I think it was students ID C. And then we are going to get the ID equals PG result 
address 0, 0. So, here we are going to disable this one, disable, disable. But the value, we will show the value. And then, because it's disabled, it will not be submitted. So we need to invent another input here hidden with the same name so that this is the one that will be submitted. Now let's see if it is correct. So I just want to explain uh, we hit, we hit this, we disable this input, but we want to display it, the ID number. The problem is when an input is disabled, when you click submit, it doesn't submit, it's not submitted. So we need to put another input here, a hidden, type hidden, which will not show, but it contains a, a name, it has a name and a value. And we're putting the same value and putting the same name but there's a hidden. So that when we click submit, we will know what the ID number is. So let's see. Uh, when I re refresh here, you will see it's 13. If we view source here, you will see that this is value 13. And then there's another hidden here that's 13. So every time we, s we click uh, add, now it's 14. And every time we reload, it's in, the ID is increasing. No problem because we have plenty of ID numbers. So if I add somebody here, yeah, now, now we, are, uh, we are assured that everybody who is added has a unique idea. Yeah? So the only the only thing I edited is this uh, the add that. So I will ask before before you for the dorm and uh, which one is the one I, I have not recorded. The one you're supposed to show me. Can you just make like this? I I will upload this part. Can you just take picture? Because I think uploading will take a long time. Is this the only thing I edit? I think this is the only thing I edited, yeah? We just disabled and then we put, uh, uh, we query to the database, the next val. The next val mm. will tell us, will give us the next uh, ID number. And we'll also increment the se sequence. <clears throat> so for all your projects that have uh, the reason I did not teach this before is for simplicity but for the at least you make all of your uh, projects like this the one that has ID numbers actually the course is wrong it should have an ID, ID also you can just modify it to so that there is always a primary key, yeah? a primary key, you know, in your database, there's a, everything should have primary key. Okay, so for, uh, for the projects, I, I, I will ask you to, to implement this one. Okay, okay. Anyway, it's not so hard, so difficult. But it it the it is nice idea. Let me stop recording. Stop.